afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Zora from BR World. Today, I'm going to introduce our visual controller, the BR series. And today, I'm going to divide my presentation into five parts. The first will introduction to introduce our visual controller. The second part are the features of the visual controllers. The third will be the software functions and the specification. The fifth of you to let you know some applications. Okay, first of all, let's to see the introduction part. What is the video controller? Video controller is a device to process the video parts. In a simple way, the video controller can split the single image into parts to be displayed on the individual screen. And second, it can distribute it resources to anywhere at any size. The third, the video controller can create the new windows on monitors. Let's see the front interface of the video controller. This is our 4U, the 8U, 16U, and the 24U. We also have the big SKU, the uh, chassis, which is the 32U, can support the hundreds of the inputs and the outputs. Single application. The normal single application like the HDMI, the VGA, the DVI, the DP, CVBS also can have the IP input card, the DP during the DVI and the 4K input. If you have the long distance, also have the fiber, the single mode, the fiber and the multiple single mode, the fiber. The resolution we can support from 800 up to 1600 up to the 4K. And the resolution can be customized. This is a control method to control the video controller, which can through the RS232, the network port, which is RG45 through the CAT6 or CAT5. Uh, we have the key button on the front of the front side and have the remote control to call the things. The functions of the video controller. This is a simple function like the overlay, the picture-in-picture, uh, -picture, zoom-in function, the stretching, and uh, zoom-in, zoom-out. Also, we support uh, up to eight windows on two screens, which is me. You can support, uh, uh, you can open four windows on uh, this screen and open another four windows. Of course, you can open six and two, the one seven, like this. The, a flexible way. And uh, let's see the video controller the features. Our video controller is uh, FPGA based, so which is uh, the FPGA based. Uh, this is uh, the pure hardware without the operating system. So no operating system, which is means no crush IPC devices like window based, uh, the hardware conflicts, the uh, blue screens and uh, the computer virus, this kind of problems can be uh, definitely to avoid this kind of problems. And uh, the MTF over the 50,000 hours, so that's why we call the video controller have the high availability and reliability. Powerful processing, we can support up to the uh, hundreds, which is the 320 and 320 output of the 4HD also support the 4K. Uh, the FPGA video controller uses the cross-point uh, technology, which is uh, this two picture to show the difference between the window-based and the FPGA, which is the cross-point, uh, the bus, the, the technologies. Uh, for example, this is the window-based uh, the picture to show the meaningful of the uh, video controllers. This is like the cross point and uh, each car we call data can have the different uh, limited because the data need to wait the traffic, uh, traffic jam lights. For example, the red lights, you need to stop the car, which is your data is stopped in there. That's why your data have the uh, limited. If you have lots of the different cars, you know, the window space, the, the multiple maximum the CPU is just uh, 18 core. So if 
lots of the cars in here. Your windows based controller will have problems. And uh, this is like the overpass of the FPGA. Each data we call to each cars will have the exclusive channel. Exclusive channel means each cars will have this uh, own way to go through to transmit the data to transmit the path. So high speed, that's why we call the FPGA based video control have powerful processing. Moderate is that because the video control is FPGA based, so all the parts are moderate design the chassis, the input cars, output cars, power supply, the control card. You see this foil chest visage, the left side will be the input cards and the output sides will have the output cards as well as the control cards and the power supply parts. All are home swappable, which can be plugged in and plugged out when the uh, controller in power on status. Also, the advantage will be a flexible configuration easy maintenance and uh, easy expandable in the future. Uh, let's see this one. For example, at currently your project only need 8 input and uh, 8 output. For your chat will be okay. But in the future you want to expand it to 16 input and 16 output. So you don't need to chase another purchase another chassis. You can just uh, buy the input and output cards to Achieve the expand the function. Frame set validation. The video controller uh, no uh, frame tearing between the same switching fancy. And uh, next one is uh, seamless switching. And when you turn the different things between your operation, you don't need to see the black between the different two things. It's a seamless one. And in the other countries. Some countries call this function will be clear function. Let's see, this is our, uh, we did the test, uh, which is output of synchronization. Uh, we can control the synchronization under 100 milliseconds, which is you cannot see the uh, delay by the, right, uh, by the human eyes. I think the human eyes, you can see the the light time is uh, uh, 300 milliseconds. So this is the real time to show the synchronization from the output to the display, which is uh, what you see is what you get. Ultra high definition of the video controller can support the 4K input and 4K output. 4K input can support the HDMI, 1.4, HDMI 2.0, and uh, DP also have the dual link uh, DVI input uh, input of the 4K. Output can support 4K as well with the HDMI and DP port. Subtitle editing, this is the OSD function, which is you can subtitle the different input source to the different video wall. Uh, because our video controller supports the multiple Groups of the video, like the LCD, LED, you can uh, subtitle the different uh, rooms in the different video. Uh, EDID editing all the inputs of the, like the PC, the DVD player, the HDMI player, or the cameras, and all the input res resolution can be EDID, which is can be customized to your. Resolution and automatically to read the different resolution to uh, drag it uh, on the video wall. Multi group functions. One single device can support so the LCD, LP projector, LED at the same time, and uh, different uh, groups can customize the different functions. Only use one single device. This one, let's see the software functions of the uh, video controller. We support the BS and the CS. So the BS we can control within the browser, and CS we can control use the control PC. Also, we support the mobile, which is pad control. 
this is one interface. If you want to know more details on how to operate the software, you can briefly to see our YouTube link to how to operate the control software. We have details in YouTube, you can see in there. Today I'm going to introduce some advantage functions of uh, this presentation. Okay, first let's see the fast process. You can, you can just drag and drop the signal into the operator interface and uh, can quick position and precisely to locate your signal source. This is the realization function. We have the, uh, we in, integrated the preview and echo function in the control card. You can see it's real time to preview and uh, echo function, which is uh, the input source to real time show your different input source the status and uh, the echo view to feedback the status of your video, which is uh, preview and echo are uh, all real time. Things management the video can control one single device, we can Suppose from one to two hundred uh, fifty-five the things, and I think actually it's uh, unlimited. I think it's unlimited. Okay, so when you set up the different uh, things on your application, you can set up you can set up the different time, and then after you done, you can automatically to roll call the different things by time. Let's see. This is the uh, function with the pre-layout function. This one can be avoided. Uh, the main operation, how to say this one. When you enter the pre-layout function, you can just edit your uh, content, like uh, you preparing the presentation, the X file or the word, but you don't want the other person to see on the video. So you can edit in advance. When you done, you can click the apply layout. It will automatically to show on the video. That's why we call it. This function can be avoided as a misoperation. Third party device control through the software. You can just send your uh, terminal display like LCD, the instructions or the commands, open and close commands to send us. We will power on and power off the LCD video through the software. It also can customize control protocol and network serial port connection. It's uh, the powerful function for the software. You don't need to uh, come to the video wall side to power on and power off the uh, LCD video wall. Hybrid uh, the matrix function. Uh, this video wall controller type series, uh, the BR wall series, we integrate the matrix function, which is mean uh, it's not only a video controller, also can be used as uh, a matrix. Let's see the difference between the general matrix and the BR wall uh, video controller integrated matrix function. Generally, can just uh, from the one input to one output, just uh, call one by one. But our integrated uh, matrix function, which is window-based switching, Windows ID based. So you can use the, not only just uh, one screen to call the signal input source. You can achieve the function like the picture-in-picture, -picture, overlay, the zooming in, such as uh, like the controller's function. Uh, the video controller, we can control the other third party the matrix through the protocol and the instructions. Uh, have the COM port or the number port. Also, uh, except we can control the third party the matrix, we can also control the, by the central control system like Crystal, uh, IMAX or the control 4. We have command to give these kind of the central control systems can also uh, control and be controlled of this video controller. And let's see, this is some uh, 
I think the applications of the multi-user management. The software will support the different users and have unlimited users. You can set the different user and each user will have the different authority. For example, the operator will have all the functions of the software. You can have the main, have the features, you can all the, uh, I think, the functions. But for example, in the control room, you will have the different users and uh, different users will have the different authority. The user one can have uh, all the features, can operate in all the functions. But the user two, you just want uh, the user two to power on and power off the LCD. The user three, you just want to timing task the power, uh, timing task the LCD video wall. So you can set the different users can have the different uh, authority. This is the timing control. Timing control is an advantage functions of the software, which is mean you can timing the power on and power off time. Also, you can timing the scenes uh, pull time. For example, uh, you want to open the LCD video at 8 o'clock and you want to power off the LCD video at 9 o'clock. Through this timing task, you can achieve this function, and this function will be achieved by weekly. You can set up one week. Multi group control. As we said, our video controller supports the different video walls like LCD, LED, and also different terminal displays have the different resolution. Each video wall can be customize each resolution to uh, achieve the different resolutions. And this one is iPad control. We can also support iPad. Uh, just uh, download from the App Store and iPad can achieve the operator. You can just uh, um, operate it. the functions through the iPad will be more user friendly to achieve the different functions like uh, fast window position, space management, and uh, power on, power off, uh, uh, blah, 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 like these functions. This web control also has the simple functions. The web control like power on, power off the screen, uh, quick position, and the space management. Let's see the fourth part, which is the specification. Our video controller supports 4U, 8U, 16U, 24U, up to the 32U. And input, output, I mean the 4HD can support from 16 up to the 320. And also of the output can support the display, which is 320 with one single device. As I know, the maximum the LCD video is in simple, which has the 600 around the 600 of, of the LCD display. So you, this video controller can cover 90 percent. I think 98 percent of the project. You can see the input slot parts and the output slot parts. Also, we have the power supply. The left side will show the default power supply. The four you have one. Default supply. 32 you will have 8 default power supply, and uh, the red one will be the optional of the redundant power supply. 1, 1, 2, and uh, 32 you can have 8 the redundant power supply. This is the looks like of the input cards the CBS, the SDI, HDMI, VGA, DLink, DVI. And if you have the long distance transmission, you can use HDBST, also the fiber. If you have cameras, we can use the IP streaming decoder card. The so IP card in our uh, IP streaming decoder card, we can decode the 20, uh, 32 a full HD the cameras in one single IP card. And uh, as I know in China market, our video controller's IP decoder card is the maximum, which is, which is can decoder uh, 32 the full HD the cameras, uh, the 4K, also the 
output can have the DBI, the HDMI, SDI, or the CVBS. Also, if you have the long distance, you can use HDBSD and fiber. The fifth part will be the application. I see the general application of the video control. You can have the different input source like uh, the 4K, the VGA, HDMI, and you have the PC source. Through the video controller for the display terminal, you have the LCD, the DLP, the LEDs, and uh, long distance have the HDBST, the extender. This is the general application. If you have the long distance, because as we know, you can use the VGA or the DVI, the HDMI cable within the 20 meters the transmission. If you have the far or long distance, you can use the HDBST, uh, HDMI, HDBST extender, or we have the HDBST card. If you have very long, over than the 155 meters, you can consider about the fiber, which is multi-mode fiber and single-mode fiber it can support up to the 10 kilometers. This is the multi-groups, the application. Different floors have the different terminal like uh, command and the transmitter, the multimedia hall and the control room office, but only one controller in the first floor. And different floors have the different terminal display. Each display has the different resolutions. IP device symbolize in the traditional the analog camera will through the DDR to the encoder then to the switch go to the video controller. Also the digital the camera will through the DDR to the switch. And the IP camera also can directly through the CAD5 or 6 to the switch. Uh, now sometimes we have the server to install the virtual content like your PC. For example, through the network encoder to the switcher can achieve the network capturing function, which is the can throw the network to uh, drag your computer content to the video world directly. This uh, function in China, I think only VR world can do this function, which is uh, uh, network capture. This is the LED application. In the this is a diagram to show the video controller works with the LED. In the front side, you have the different PCs or different uh, signal types of the uh, signal source, and through the input to the output cards, the output cards will to the LED sending card, no matter the Nova sending card or the other sending cards. From the sending card, have the receiving cards inside of the LED video board. This is just a, a diagram to show how it works. And the application will just, uh, you can, based on your requirements of your project, you have the LED and you have the other type of the sending card, the receiving card, that's no problem. This one is simple, the application to show the different uh, terminal interface like uh, the LCD, the monitor, LED and projector use one single device. And the uh, markets for the video controllers, so lots of the uh, different areas can use the video controller like the convention center, the seminar center, and lab center, command center, conference room, and the command center, or you have the uh, the other like the shopping mall, lots of the applications for the video wall and the LCD LED video wall together. We summarize at the at the last. We summarize some advantages of our video controller can help you to win the bid. If you have the project to need our support, we have the big documents that have some special advantages to help you win the bid. For example, we support 5 different groups up to 16 and the software uh, encoder which is network catching. Also, we a uh, PC signal can display to the video directly through network. Uh, IP streaming card will support 4K camera and 4HD camera. The 4HD camera will support the 32. If you have 720 the resolutions, 
we can support the uh, 64 cameras, just the one card. The multi-users and uh, matrix integrated the matrix function, timing task, quick window position and soft to preview and echo. As we know, some other the controllers will have this function, but it will take the output slot from the output slot to connect the monitor. It will cause the loss of. So I think the software preview and echo function will cost the, will reduce some cost for your side. The term will be uh, input and output we all support the 4K. Okay, thanks. This is uh, our video controllers, some briefly the introduce. If you want to know more, you can just uh, to, um, come to our website www.vrworld.com. Also can send the email to us, also can welcome to call us anytime and we uh, waiting for your inquiry. Okay, thank you.